Hello everyone, Geismith here, and today we are back in Cities Skylines. Now last where we left off, we were starting to have uh, garbage problems, and they have not gone away, that's for sure. Uh, I actually just added this landfill site. Today I hope to be able to reach 4,800 people so that I can add the incineration plant. Um, that'll, that'll save me a lot of time trying to maintain garbage and whatnot. I do believe that it has its own power. Uh, why not burn it and turn it into electricity through the power of steam turbines? Um, it burns garbage to create electricity. So it effectively means that, that it has its own power. You do have to hook it up to the city though in order for it to effectively start producing power. Um, kind of makes sense. That's how most buildings operate. But I went through here, upgraded some of these roads. Um, I was having massive traffic issues that I did not think of ahead of time when I built this, uh, when I built uh, Clement, the area here. So I completely changed the roads. So um, I was going through upgrading these thinking, oh, I can upgrade this and, you know, just try and do stuff. But then I realized that the cemetery is in the way. So, and I don't have another cemetery to empty the corpses into. And I don't have incineration or er, uh, crematorium yet, do I? Nope. I need 1,100 people, or 11,000 people, in order for me to be able to unlock the crematorium. So that's not happening yet. But then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to connect this directly to here, like the other industrial area is, and then I can add a ramp, which ended up becoming this spiral thing, I don't even know, um, for workers over here to be able to come over here. And um, yeah, it worked. Why is no one picking up our trash? Yeah. Actually, hang on. Options. Audio? Uh, chirper. Let's get rid of chirper sound. Okay. So, I can just, if I want to, I can always click this and see about people's complaints. But at the moment, I don't think I need to. Um, I kind of know all the issues. <laughs> My city's small enough that I can manage them. But as well, there is a massive, massive residential command demand still remaining. So I want to, uh, oh geez, garbage has piled up. Yeah, yeah, I realize that. So, um, oh, and I also renamed this Slope de Baroque. So it's gonna be a Slope de Baroque. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm actually going to, over here, um, Grab out terraforming again. Um, take that terrain height. Uh, size up the brush. And actually expand this out a little bit. Um, then take this height. Shrink the brush a ton. And um, make it thinner so that it can... Um, just like make a area for a road up to this plateau up here, which I will then create a slope for. Um, uh, size up the brush a tiny bit. Let's make it like. Yeah, 80 cells big is good. Um, I think that's good enough. Um, and in the meantime, let's go back over here. Uh, we are losing some people. Um, for the moment, I'm just gonna pause game. Uh, like, eliminate trees, sadly. Um, I'll fill them back in later. Yes, okay. So now, over here, I can create a few new roads really fast. Um, uh, why is that? Oh, that's because that's like, oh. Uh, I'll start from here. <laughs> um, I'll do that. And that. And then extend the road out like that. Now. Okay. 
Um. <laughs> uh, actually, I can downgrade some of these rows to like tree land rows. Uh, let's do the middle one and these back ones, and then those. Mm, maybe these as well. It's not a big area. Okay, then, um... Oh, I also need to... I hate how the tree brush always just leaves its in little uh, GUI open. Uh, water grabs that. And do. Um. That's so weird. Uh, I'll resume game. That is so inefficient, but oh well. Connect that up. Water saturation, everyone. Uh, okay. I have an overage of water pipes, I think. <laughs> um. Geez, I am really losing people. I need to expand. Uh, fill, fill. Um, fill that in. Uh, I do have the district extending through here. Yes, I do. Um, and then I can make the new area. Uh, I Now that I think about it, I think I want to upgrade this road. Uh, was it six lane? I think I might want to upgrade this to a six lane road. It will be costly, but considering how big this area will be, um, slope too steep. Road anarchy! Coming to the rescue! It is. Oh. I don't have enough money. <laughs> uh, it is costly to do all the upgrades to the roads. This is gonna take a little while. It's literally just wait for money and then upgrade. Wait for money, upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna pull those tree. Uh, ooh, sweet big town. I have unlocked the metro. Ooh, yes. Uh, I do prefer trains and trams above ground, though, personally. But the metro will probably be for, um... Actually, I'm not sure what for. Um... Alright. Now that I have upgraded all of that, um, let me go over here, extend from that. I don't know what that white flash was. Um, please don't go underground. Um, that's that's weird. Uh, do and do, and I think that's about good. Um, why is this? <laughs> So weird. No, smooth there. Um, terraforming. 101. There we go. Alright, so I can now grab, I think, a four lane with decorative trees. Um, let's just do it right on the ground. Um, Let's surround this entire area with this road. Uh, no, please don't. No bridges. No unnecessary bridges. Um, like that, like that, and hook it up like that. Pretty cool. 
and then right through the middle section, I can do that road. And then, um, the rest, I think, can be roads with trees. Um, I'll avoid connecting them to... Um, I'll try and make this, like, a nice suburb of sorts. Um... And then... Hmm... Like that. Curve it. And reconnect. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then... Like that. 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 Loop around. Go down like that. Um... Really don't have a lot of money. Oh, I don't have any more residential demand. Okay, so I have satisfied the residential demand, apparently. I probably should like do um That looks about good. All right. So, over here, I can make this a little bit commercially, I guess. Um Yes, I have already connected all the water. Um, do, 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 do. Along this busy road. This is so weird how many little cells there are. Um, maybe it just pays to paint all these in. They'll have way less clicks in the video. Haha. <laughs> um, like that. And like that. Paint it in. This is where this tool comes in handy. Um, these people are basically going to be like right on hills. <laughs> Super steep hills. Um, let's not put that there. Um, so, commercial. I am losing people now. Oh, geez. Oh, wait, and I have unlocked the high density stuff. Um, let's make this a high density zone then. Why not? Um, there will be a ton of traffic, I just realized. Um, but why not? <laughs> um, Let's grab the marquee tool and just like anything that is not filled in will be filled in now. And there we go. A whole new area. Nice. Uh, let's make sure that you guys have all your services. Um, on this center road, we can put in stuff like fire and health. You are really far from a cemetery. Um, 
Oh, jeez. Um... It's not an issue there. <laughs> Pedestrians will seem to walk through the corner, but that's that's fine. <laughs> Jeez. Um Should I put down Tardi? Uh no, I'll I'll do like normal police stations. Um Oh jeez. Um I can plop down a TARDIS right there though. Cause they're cheap and they function in a good little local area, so I think they're perfect. Sweetness. Facility full. Okay. Uh. Don't I have the auto bulldoze? Oh, yeah, this is the auto bulldoze thing. It should automatically be bulldozing all the ones that are abandoned and burned. Yep, there we go. Um, I still have a major trash issue. Uh, I don't have enough money for the incineration plant. It costs 30000 and I have absolutely no demand. Holy crap. Um, well, not absolutely no demand. It's being covered about as fast as it can be filled. Yep, I, I did prepare very, very well. Um, um, you know what? I think it's about time to take out a loan. This is 20000 Let's take it. We can pay for our incineration plant. There we go. It should begin to produce its own power. Uh, it's just outside the water. There. Um, now garbage should be progressively getting fixed. Um, I still have the garbage budget up very high, I think. So it should be covering pretty well. Um, I do, however, probably need to extend this road a little bit and put down another, um, incinerator, maybe. Um, this one, oh, yes. Uh, there we go. And just sort of, like, extend this road like that for the moment. Um, go here. Tree brush. Um, shrink down the brush size. Um, actually, I'll extend the road through a little bit further. Just because I can. Um, then... that there just sort of as a place marker um, for the future and then up here really fast I can create a smaller road not tree lined but like that a straight road there and incinerator I still need 9,000 um I think the incinerator has covered very, very nicely. Um, I just need more money. <laughs> Do I need to take out the second loan? Uh, it's 60000 Um, What's the next milestone? 7000 Um, Not very close to reaching that. Uh, take out the second loan, I guess. 
Um, and place. Uh, so people are. Hang on. Citizens are sick. Oh. Uh, are falling ill removed? Because the ground is polluted. Ground was polluted. Uh, hang on. There should be no pollution out here. Yeah, that's weird. Um, but garbage is getting covered, which is good. Uh, what are people complaining about now? Citizens are sick. Um, ground is polluted. It's not polluted, though. Uh, healthcare. I will add a clinic right about here. That will cover these guys a little bit better. Add more coverage for the slope area. Um. Whoa! Upgrades! That is a lot of upgrades. I think people are also getting fixed. Like, their health is getting fixed. Yay! I'm figuring things out. So, um, I think that for the most part, uh, oh yeah, these are all Baroque buildings too. Um, they look very pretty. Ooh, I love, I love the high density Baroque buildings. Um, compared to the low density though, there is a pennies. I was gonna say, is that a Denny's? But it's a pennies. Slightly different color scheme as well. Can still tell it's like a joke of uh, Denny's. Um, <laughs> how nice. Oh gosh, I love this area now. It is so cool. Um, sucks that I had to lay out the streets like this though. Because now all the buildings aren't uh, correct, blah, blah, aren't connected like they normally would be. Um, like right next to each other, kind of connected. Um, eh, it works though. Uh, I can actually go in here and grab the trees. Uh, what's a nice looking tree that I can use? Horse chestnut? Um... Hmm, yes. Let me just put down trees. How pretty. It'll dampen noise pollution from the commercial. Uh, I think having a lot of trees can add land value. Can. Um, but I do really love this tree. It looks so pretty. Um, and then what's this autumn tree? Um, I can add this in varying places because it is a little bit of color. Uh, as opposed to the, I guess, green, the standard green, uh, green colors. Yeah, yeah, this just adds a little bit of character sometimes, when you have multiple colors of trees. Uh, pink wildflowers. Ooh. Someone has them in the backyard. Um... I'll just add them here and there. Uh, I think I added two in the same place. Oh, holy crap, we hit that. We hit that so fast. I was amazed. Um, new services, trains. Sweetness. We have unlocked all the train stations and everything. 
Uh, hydropower plant. Ooh, yeah. I actually, just before this episode, was looking for, um, oh my, planted so many of those. Um, I was looking for areas that would suit a hydropower plant. Um, let me just make this little field of pink wildflowers. Ooh, it's so pretty. Um, and like an orange tree. Um, some people will have orange trees in their backyards. Just about like you want, you grow oranges for your building. Um, you grow them to, um, for the dead people or like all the visitors who weep an orange tree. It just adds a little bit of variance. It's so, so awesome how there's all this Steam Workshop support in this game. It makes things so pretty. Love it! Just sort of add trees randomly. That's one of my methods, just add trees of a certain type randomly. Um, if they're like a little accent, do it especially randomly. Because they're just an additional little color. Um, I will destroy that one. That was too close. Uh, like that, 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 that. I'll resume. Uh, do, do, do. Aw, oh, this is so nice. I love this. I just sort of love this thing. This game is so awesome. Honestly, everyone always says how this game is just so amazing, and honestly, there's no limit to how amazing this game can be. Um, with, like, again, all the Steam Workshop support, um, the community is amazing. It's like, if there's a problem with your mod, you will probably find a solution uh, pretty soon unless someone's abandoned their mod. That sadly happens sometimes. That happens with every game. Um, community support sometimes dies down. Uh, other things come about and replace them. Like, if someone really loves a mod, um, or like everyone just loves this one mod, um, sometimes people will ask, hey, can I use the original source code to continue? Um, or sometimes it's the lack of source code ability to continue that caused the mod to die down, so it's like they have to ask, can I use your mod concept? Um, which honestly is a whole different can of beans. Uh, can of worms, or whatever uh, you want to say. Um, these trees, I love them. Boop. Um, oh, and by the way, I just thought of something. Um, oh, no, I don't think I have... Um, uh, stop. Uh, stop, pause, collaborate, and listen. Uh, as Corrales always says. Um, now... What? Uh, hang on. Let me get this menu out of the way. Uh... Power. What is this? Uh, it's showing me terrain height as well. Oh, that's useful. Hmm. Um... Now, over here, was it over here? Where was that place that I thought I saw a good ability to make a power plant? Oh, right here. Um, over here, I do, I think, have the ability to create a hydropower plant. Uh, slope too steep. Um, which direction is it supposed to be facing? I think... It's supposed to have uh, that. It looks about right. Um, 
Is it going too fast for the power plant, though? Ah, uh, yeah. I'll destroy that. I have a good amount of money. <laughs> um... Shoot, that costs a crap ton of money. Um, okay, now... I need to go over here and drop my power but not my water budget, my power budget. Um there will be power problems people. Um Oh jeez. I haven't unlocked the third loan. Uh shoot. Oh jeez, this is this is not good. This is no bueno. Ninety-six thousand. Ah, crap. Well, that was a flunk. I am going to have to rethink that idea. Come on. Um. Dang it. Uh, I don't have solar power plant unlocked yet. I don't want to use oil or anything. Um, uh, where's a good place in water? Uh, really? They're all out of city limits? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fine then, wind turbines. Let's make a wind farm. Um, Yeah, uh, there, there, uh, there. I'm just building a wind farm up here. Uh, like that, like that, and like that. And... I can make sure that my power budget is like a hundred percent. Um, that solves power issues. Electricity availability is pretty decent. Um, now garbage is still a slight issue. Um, let me fix that. Mm-hmm. There we go. Um. Incineration status is very minimal. Holy crap. Er, minimal. Um, I don't think it's doing that great. Uh, garbage, it looks like everyone is covered, but I don't think it's actually telling the truth there. Um, maybe I add another incinerator. <laughs> and then I can just empty that. Um, I'll wait. I'll turn that off. Uh, uh you have water not operating because it doesn't have all the garbage reserves that it needs. That one's filling up. Um, that one's filling up. We can wait for that to do its thing. Um, oh, you didn't ever get water. That explains a lot. I should up my... Um, it's already up. I should probably fix water, just in general. Um, 
So water intake. Um, put it there. Connect the pipe. Still haven't unlocked the water treatment plant. So in the meantime, um, where was that? All the way down here. And then I can, I guess, turn down its budget a little bit because I'll have an excess. Or maybe leave its budget up. Ay, 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 this thing is so touchy. I'll just leave it as is. I'm getting an okay income. Uh, I do still have a lot of residential demand. Quite a lot. Uh, let me build a little bit more of the Baroque Slope then. Um, that, that. Um, build two. There. Okay, and then I can make sure that it has water. Take down pipes. That covers everyone okay. Um, let's just add that just in case. Then um, power should be able to connect. Uh, do I want to do high density? Uh, I think I'll go with low density again. Um, that, then like uh, that, and that. Okay. Then, as well, I think I fixed my thing, my uh park that I made. Where is that? Uh, Pavilion Park. Did I slope too steep? Yes, I did fix it. Um, I had to remove the paths <laughs> in it, which was a little bit of an annoyance, to be completely honest. Uh, I think I need to terraform really fast. Um, leveling. Uh, that. Like that. Um, and then go over here. Tree brush. Like that. And then... Back into parks. And... Plug you down. I had to remove all the paths. As you probably can tell, this is just painted in. Um... Stuff. So there aren't actually going to be any people there. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just sort of for looks, but I do like how it looks, personally. It's, it's just, it's basic. It really is. Um, but again, I like how it looks. Took me a little while to actually do. But anyway, um, I think, uh, anywhere else needs parks especially? Because, um... Oh yeah, the ploppable oil tank, I downloaded that. Um, plazas, Paradox Plaza. Um, my park doesn't seem to be really giving anyone happiness. That is sad. <laughs> it is just for looks, honestly. Um, let's add Paradox Plaza, like, right there. That'll give people a little bit of happiness. Um, this plaza with picnic tables, how about there? Oh, that's the. There's a TARDIS there. Um. <laughs> there's a TARDIS there! <laughs> of course! That's a reason to not build a park! <laughs> um. Let's make it. Put down a mini. Miori Shrine. 
Where can I plop you down? Uh, right there, I guess. Um, a Japanese shrine. Let's put it there. Ah, uh, how nice. Yeah, that's pretty. And then, uh, where was that other shrine? Um, oh no, the gate asset must not be... Oh no, they didn't include the asset. That work. that just sucks. That sucks so much, because it's supposed to have that little shrine. Aw, that makes me sad. Darn it. All right, well, um, parks, people are admittedly happy over there. Uh, let's add a few things, like a little park with a playground over here. There. You can become happy. And uh, there's a street clock park for Corrales. Uh, let's just replace a, a little commercial thing. Yeah, I think this asset was actually made for Corrales, another um, YouTuber. He does a City Skyline series, and that seems like the kind of thing that would be really cool for him. Um, and then uh, a one-by-one -one little bench. Um, where can I put this in? there. Aw, how cute. That's just a nice little thing. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Um, uh, corner parking lot, um, large farm field. I do have all these little fields and, um, flower farms. Uh, community garden. An actual community garden would be pretty cool. Um, um, hang on, let me turn on Road Anarchy. And grab you, and put you there. Oh geez, that's a load of lag. Um, must have been way too many smiley happy faces. Uh, destroy you, destroy you, and D zone. Oh, jeez. The lag, the lag, what's happening? Uh, D zone. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Uh, turn off road anarchy. Escape. Road ar anarchy off. What is happening? Uh. What was that? The park of laggy doom. Uh, I want it off the thing. Okay, that fixed things a little bit. Okay, um, not enough educated workers. Okay, I don't have very much area with education. That that is true. Um, so maybe I can ex educate some of the broke the broke slope. Um. There. Let's do it. Um, any these also want some well-educated workers. Uh, do I or do I not have a high school? I don't have a high school, which means that I should put down an area with um a high school. There's areas with elementary schools, so that means that I should actually add an area with a high school as well. 
to get some highly educated citizens. Or well-educated citizens, anyway. I don't need highly educated citizens quite yet. I don't want to over-educate everyone. Which will create way too much weird residential demand and whatnot. Um, but in the meantime, I think this is just about good. Um, the not enough... Uh, not enough customers. Hmm. Well... You're the only area with bad customer reps, so I think that you might just have bad products. Oh, no. People must have bought from there. Um, maybe they just didn't advertise enough. Um, not enough educated workers. Just wait for the educated workers to appear. But I think that this is about it for this episode. Um, actually, hang on. Let's pause and go to nighttime. Ooh, this looks so pretty. This does look really, really pretty. Oh, and the night sky. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I love the night sky. It is so pretty in this game. And like all the roads. Ooh, it just looks so pretty. Uh, screenshot. Thank you. Um, yes, please. That is awesome. I love my city. I love it. This is so pretty. Seriously, saying that this is not pretty would be, like, just a crime. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Yay! Alright, you know what? This is where I'm going to leave off. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching this episode of Cities Skylines. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more episodes of this series, and just enjoy the chillness of this game. I don't even think that I've actually uploaded the second episode of this series yet, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, I'm trying to avoid downloading too many more assets because my game is crashing whenever I'm, like, exiting a asset that I edited, uh, namely the Pavilion Park, or, um, like a map that I played. So I want to avoid adding any more mods and assets. So I think I'm about good. Um, I have yet to actually create the full asset list. I will do that before I upload the second episode. But um, you can see how long I procrastinated. And actually, this was recorded way ahead of time. This is, what, the 2nd of June? <laughs> Uh, so that should go to show how long it takes for me to actually upload videos sometimes. Normally, I don't pre-record way too much with games like this, but eh, whatever. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. One last time, and this is Guy Smith signing off. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys back here in Smutville. Actually, I almost completely forgot. That was something that I was going to change. Um, because this is technically not a... Uh, um, uh, can I... Not... Oh, yeah, here. Um, technically, these areas are not actually cities. They are areas. So, I want to actually zone this as Smut Valley. As... Or Smut Hills. That's what I thought on. Um, Smut Hills. Smut Valley was like, eh? But Smut Hills sounds like a really good idea, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, it's now Smut Hills. Uh, yeah. And I might make us actual Smutville. <laughs> Actually, um, do... I'll do that last. Um, I have Delmont. Um, let me dezone the area with the road right there. And then create a new district right through here. Um, I should grab the smaller brush and tweak it so that that um up to that um like that uh that's not gonna be thornton hills no but that is a pretty cool name Thor uh, thornton hills uh let's just extend this district all along this road and select this area um 
grab the medium-sized brush and um, uh, why did it create a new district? I created a new district by accident, apparently. Uh, that's called Underhill Heights. Um, yeah, no, not what I want. <laughs> I want one district. Uh, yeah. I'll expand it to that. Um, anything else that I build will probably be in this little area. Will probably become, uh, this new Smutville. Um, because it's the original town. Uh, leave it as default style. Uh, instead of Thornton Hills, we will call it Smutville and two L's. There we go. We now have the Smutville district. Yay! Alright. Now we are done. Smutville has been zoned, and we have Smut Hills, the region. So pretty. Oh my gosh, there is a fire. <laughs> that is very obnoxious. <laughs> anyway... That's that's all. So thanks for watching. One last time, and this is guys most signing off for real this time. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys back here in the Smut Hills. Bye bye.